Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I hope, hope I'm audible and clear. Uh, thank you for taking the time out to join our uh, pre-match press conference. We have with us Mr. Daniel Sands. Uh, we'll follow the rules as we do always. Just put your hand up and I'll take uh, questions one by one. Uh, Saurabh, let's start with you first. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I think it's kind of hand in hand, so um, kind of I had a little bit of time to think about it, like, like I've previously said, and working with um, Shane Bond, our bowling coach, uh, who I have, I have a pretty good relationship with, as I've worked with him with the Thunder before, and also working with um, Jasper as well, just talking about some stuff in, in, in regards to... Um, we can always, well, we always plan for what the batter does, but in the end, especially when it comes down to a crunch moment, Booms always goes pretty much to his Yorker. Um, and that's his strength ball, and he knows regardless of what the batter does, he's got more chance of executing that because that's his strength. And so that made me, well, those kind of conversations with him and working with Bondi um, helped me realise that, I've kind of been edging more to, okay, what's the batter's weakness? I'm just going to target that, even if it's potentially something that I'm not very good at. Um, so there is a little bit of a fine line, but in those crunch moments like that last over, it's kind of thinking more, okay, what, putting the percentages in my favour and thinking, what do I have the best chance of executing? Yeah, so the, the conversations that have basically been around, okay, what, what are your go-to balls? So for me, my go-to balls are my slower ball variations, uh, and then it just depends on what length and what line. Um, so that's kind of like the balls that I go to. Yeah, it's one ball, but there's different areas I can bowl it to. Um, Conversations-wise, it's... It's been kind of the same conversation just numerous amounts of times in different ways at training. So talking with Bondi, uh, fiddling around a little bit while I'm bowling, thinking about, okay, if I'm bowling at this angle, what's my, what's my go-to ball length line? Uh, it's kind of getting into those kind of little finer details um, and, and just kind of playing around. And sometimes it changes because Obviously, we're human, so things change day by day. So me bowling a slow ball out wide, may, I may not be executing that as good on a particular day as bowling my full slow ball at the stumps. So it's fi figuring out what's working on that day as well. Um, so they're, they're basically the conversations that we've had and then just working on that at training. No worries. Nihal, do you want to go next? Yeah, so I didn't quite catch it. Was your question asking how, how do we kind of stay motivated after kind of what we've, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. So obviously we're, we're not going to be able to make the playoffs. Um, but I think kind of uh, how we've set up the rest of the tournament for us is we've got a little a mini IPL. So the last six games, so we've played two of them already. We're just kind of judging ourselves on that. Um, and so... 
Yep, this year we can't make the playoffs, but we can still build on a lot of things for the coming season. Um, so every game, regardless whether it's an important game, whether it's a final, whether it's the first round of a tournament, I think for us as players, they're just as important. Um, and I think that's a really important thing, not to have more vo value on one game or another, because um, then it makes you prepare the same, you have the same routines. Um, so motivation for the guys is we, we want to win the, the rest of our games. So um, that's basically what's, what's motivating us. Um, we want to finish this IPL on a bit of a roll um, and, and, and we see our team as a really good team and we want to prove that over the next coming games. Yeah, it's, uh, I, th I think if I'm being completely honest, it was really, really challenging. Um, having struggling in, in the first game and then that third game against KKR, um, you definitely start to have doubts. Uh, you start to question yourself, question what you do, if you're good enough, that kind of stuff. And that's, and that's natural. I think all athletes, whatever sport, kind of go through that. Um, it's kind of how long you stay in that kind of frame of mind. So it took me a little bit to be able to kind of move from doubting myself and, and kind of worrying about all that to be able to move on and think, okay, well, what, what can I learn from this? Um, so I had basically everyone here has been amazing. I've had great conversations in regards to like, look at what I've done in the past, look at what I've been able to achieve. Um, yep, these things happen. Let's look at, instead of thinking about, oh, it happened, you got hit for however many in this over, let's think, okay, why did it happen? We look at the footage, what did you bowl, and all that kind of stuff. And that's where it came about that I wasn't quite bowling my strengths. I was bowling my slower balls, but I was bowling them up rather than into the pitch um, and, and, and things like that. So through the conversations with, there was MJ and Bondi and Jasper and a few others that, I was able to realise why those things were happening and then we were able to kind of rectify them at training, work on a couple of things and then be able to kind of stay calm, stay focused and just commit in a game. Thanks. No worries. Uh, last question that's coming on the chat. Uh, you, you, com you were instrumental in finishing off the game. Previously, you were instrumental in finishing off the last game. How much does that hold for your confidence going into the next set of games? Yeah, it's obviously it's massive for my confidence. Um, I think what's important though is more, not, not so much the result of what happened. Yes, we want to win, um, but it's more about how, how was I mentally in those scenarios? Was I panicking or was I calm? And, I look back at those games compared to the previous games at the start of the tournament and those previous games I was nervous, a little bit panicky, not quite committed on what I wanted to execute where those last two games I went out there, felt like I had nothing to lose and I was just calm and I knew what I wanted to do. So I was just able to execute. So they're the things that I take into the next few games or I mean hopefully for the rest of my career just to be able to stay calm, think about what I'm going to do, commit to it, and just execute, execute it. And that way it gives me the best, best opportunity to be able to get the result that we're after. Okay, uh, thank you everybody for your questions. Thank you, Dan, for your time. No worries. And uh, we'll wrap up here. Thank you, everybody. Have Thanks, guys. Day.